Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. So SketchUp 2025 has introduced a couple of notable features that really enhance your 3D modeling experience. And I think we can all agree that this is SketchUp's most innovative update in a while. So in today's video, we're counting down our top features of SketchUp 2025. Feature number one is the environment panel. This is a feature that incorporates a 360 degree HDRI image into your model, enhancing the reflection and lighting for more immersive visualization. Now, if we take a look at our model, this is typically what it looked like in previous versions of SketchUp. So if we go over to our tray, you will find that there's a new environment panel. And you can see that there are a couple of HDRIs that we can incorporate into our model. So when you select an HDRI, it wraps around your entire model. Notice how our model doesn't look photorealistic. To change this, go to Styles, Edit, and Enable Photoreal Materials. And when you do that, you can now see that the model responds well to the environment. As you can see, when I select different HDRIs, the lighting of the model completely changes to accommodate the HDRI. So if we go over to our settings, we have a couple of parameters and options that we can tweak. For example, we can set the sound location to match the HDRI. We can adjust it horizontal and vertical. We also have use the environment has a skybox, which allow us to see the HDRI in the background. And we also have use environment for reflections. Needless to say, that's what affects the reflection on the materials. As for these settings, we have angle rotation, which allow us to rotate the HDRI. We have sky dome exposure to control the brightness of the HDRI. And we have reflection exposure, which controls how bright the reflections will be. SketchUp now supports physically based rendering materials or PBR for short, enabling surfaces to reflect light and its surroundings. So this is going to give us a little bit more control over the realism in our models. So if I go over to our material tab, you can see that it's been redesigned a little bit. The materials are now previewed by a cube. And if we go over the categories, we can see that there are a lot more materials. For example, if I wanted to change this material on my model, I can select it from the library, go into that component and switch that material. Another thing you will realize is that when you edit a material, you now have additional parameters. So you have the typical parameters where you can adjust the color, change the texture, as well as the size and opacity. But if you scroll down, you will see some additional parameters. So let's change this material to something different. So here we have a new texture. Now we can adjust the metalness of this material, basically to see how much of the environment it can reflect. As for the roughness, also controls the reflectivity of the material. So we're going to add the roughness map. We'll also add the normal map, which has come out very strong, but we can adjust the parameter. And we can add the ambient occlusion. So there you go. That to me looks very, very realistic. And I think it's actually much better than what I had before. So you can see what you're able to do with the photorealistic materials. SketchUp 2025 also includes its own material library and they all have photorealistic properties. For example, if I wanted to swap this material, 
I can click on this icon to access the material library in the 3D warehouse. And from here, you'll see that we have a large collection. We have wood materials, tile, stone, even the color materials now have their own collection. Let's pick this tile material, download, and now it's loaded onto our model. Just click on your object and apply the material. And as I mentioned before, they all have photorealistic properties. So if you wanted to edit these materials, you can scroll down and edit the parameters. Next, we have extension migrator. This is something that I've really looked forward to. This feature simplifies the process of getting your extensions from one version of SketchUp into 2025. And as you know before, we had to install each of the extensions manually. So to work with extension migrator, you have to go into the extension warehouse. And we're going to search for extension migrator. And we have to install this extension. So right here, it's already giving me a notice that there's an older version of SketchUp installed on my computer. And if I want to migrate all of my extensions and I'll just say yes. So next we get this window and here we get to select which versions of SketchUp we want to migrate from. So we'll select 2024. So this is a list of all the extensions I have and I can select from this list, the ones that I want to migrate over to SketchUp 2025. So go through your list of extensions and select the ones that you want to bring over and select migrate. So this is going to take a while and I'm guessing it's going to install all of these extensions into SketchUp 2025. And that is done. So now all we have to do is restart SketchUp. So this is now SketchUp after I restarted. And here you can see all of the extensions that I chose to bring over. And from here, all you have to do is dock the extensions in SketchUp. You also get this extension error dialog box, which I guess shows all the errors that can come up with all the extensions. So you might have more errors here, considering I only brought in a very few extensions. So from here, you have the option to enable and disable the extension. You can also uninstall the extension if you wish to. So it's a very nice solution as far as managing all of your extensions from one version to the next. And it's definitely a time saver if you were to install all of the extensions by yourself. Now the rotator tool now introduces rotation grips, very similar to what we had in the move to before, which provides a more intuitive and efficient object manipulation in your 3D model. So, so if we take this, to SketchUp 2025 and activate the rotation tool, you can see that there's a little bit more to work with. Now I can rotate from the midpoint, from the top middle point, and the bottom midpoint. We also get these red plus icons to help us rotate from the center point. And you also notice the pre-selections. If you hover over a model, it will assume that that's the model that you want to rotate. And last, this is a very underrated feature. Every time you work on your model, it's always recommended that you purge your model. So before to do this, you would go to model info, statistics, and you would purge your model. Now, obviously you can still do that, but now anytime you save your model, you get a notification to purge all your unused assets. And this to me is very important. So that will conclude our top features of SketchUp 2025. Obviously there are many more features that need to be mentioned like the AI texture generator, snaps, and the text tool on the leader, which, which automatically updates the area of the surface it's referred to. So I recommend checking the release notes for the full list of features in SketchUp 2025. So let us know in the comments section what you think of this SketchUp update and what is your favorite feature. Be sure to follow us on all the social media platforms and we'll catch you guys in the next video.